This is the Ross Developers Podcast, episode 69. The Ross Developers Podcast, the Ross Developers. The Ross Developers Podcast, the Ross Developers. Hello, ROS developers, and welcome to the ROS Developers Podcast, the program, the podcast that gives you insights from the experts about how to program your robots with ROS. This is Ricardo Telle from The Construct, and today I would like to dedicate the episode to all of you that are starting with ROS. So I know that it's a new beginning, it's exciting, but it's going to be a little bit tough. So you are going to feel confused sometimes. Please, please do not surrender. Start with small steps. Do not try to get all the knowledge at once and then keep pushing, keep pushing your ROS learning. And I'm pretty sure that uh, soon you will succeed and you will have entered into an amazing world that is uh, about programming robots and that I think that has a big future. future. And for all of you that are starting right now, this episode is dedicated to you. And you're going to see in a short moment why this episode is dedicated to you. And it's basically because I'm going to talk about the basic knowledge that we have to have in order to be called a ROS developer. So that's what I call the basics of ROS. So th there is a lot of ROS to be learned, okay? But when you learn the basics of it, then you are, uh, I would say that you are more than half the way done. So you, you have covered half of the, of the space. So the, the other half, I would say that is about uh, finding errors. So being able to find errors when something doesn't work as expected and how to uh, have this instinct about uh, the, uh, the identifying which direction you have to check, which uh, checks you have to perform, which experiments in order to catch where is the error. So that's going to be almost the other half, almost the other half. And then there is a small part in there that that will be about learning new ROS things like navigation, move it, and open CV in ROS. So those things, yeah, but. The main core, I would say, that is learning the basics of ROS or how ROS works and then work, uh, learn how to find errors, how to debug ROS programs. Okay, so uh, in this episode, I'm going to talk about the first thing is how to, I'm going to concentrate on and how you can get this basic knowledge. Uh, well, not, not how, sorry, but I would like to say is which is this basic knowledge that you have to acquire? So how, how can you identify in, in a graphical way, actually? Because I'm going to show you a diagram, a mind map, a kind of mind map that I have created that contains all these basic ROS knowledge. So what, what do I mean first before going into the mind map? So what do I mean by the basics of ROS? For me, the basics of ROS are all those concepts of ROS that you need to master in order to be able to create your own ROS programs, in order to debug them and understand also third-party ROS programs. So I'm starting here assuming that you already know about Linux and you also know about Python or C++. So those are prerequisites. So those are not entering into this, uh, this diagram that I'm going to plot about which are the basics of ROS. So that are pre-basics of ROS. So you have to come here with that knowledge already done. In case that you don't have, then check the notes of the program, the show notes, and you will see that I have put a couple of courses, free courses, online courses, where you can learn uh, Linux, basic Linux for robotics and Python for robotics. Well, so I was saying that uh, those 
uh, the, I consider the basics of ROS to all those ROS concepts that you need to master in order to be able to create your own ROS programs, find the errors, and also when you download a, a package that has been created by somebody else, then understand what it's actually doing and how to modify and so on. So, uh, so apart from the language in which it is programmed, then there are the ROS concepts that are involved into that into those packages. So if you master those concepts, then you will be able to manage yourself in in the ROS world because the ROS world is basically is that is creating your own packages but reusing a lot of code that somebody else has done and interfacing that with you and then figuring out why it doesn't work, which usually is a, a matter of testing and doing tests yourself and, and doing some experiments in order to catch where the error is. So um, then about the other concepts, well, the, the advanced concepts like, uh, I don't know, the ROS navigation stack, or as I mentioned, the movie package, uh, ROS web programming. So all those are advanced concepts that I don't consider here. And they are basically lying on top of the basics already. So they, they are more of the same. So if you know the basics, you will be really equipped to go into those more complex subjects and understand them um, quite easily and quite uh, fast. So I have identified, uh, identified 15 basic subjects that you require you are requested to master if you want to become a ROS developer. And each one of those main subjects, they are at the same time, some of them, they are subdivided into subtopics. Then uh, what uh, I'm not going to explain you all those. So what I'm going to provide you is this information. So this can serve you as a guide to you in order to learn. So you can say, oh, what, what are still I'm missing that I don't know about ROS? So I, you can use this information as a guide and go for it. So in, I'm going to tell you which one are those 15 concepts, but if you go to the show notes of this podcast, then you are going to see that they have included there a PDF. And then this PDF is a complete map. It's, a, it's kind of a mind map but it's not a mind map, it's, it's, it's just putting into a graphic this knowledge that you have to search, and I mean all the topics and including the subtopics. And what is interesting about this PDF is that you can click on the name of those subjects and then you will be taken directly into the page of the ROS wiki, that, the official ROS wiki that describes uh, these concepts. So uh, you can use this PDF as a reference or you can use this PDF as a, as a learning guide also for you. you. If you want to use the wiki, the official ROS wiki as your learning tool for learning ROS. And uh, yes, so that's, that's very, very, that's an interesting thing, okay? Because by having this map, you, you know where you are. And also for, for me, it's very interesting also because sometimes I do forget how to, how to do some things in, in ROS is for me, that's normal, but I, I understand the concept, but I forget how to do it. Then I can click there and then go to the place that tells me about this parameter that I don't remember how it works for, for this specific thing that I forgot. So that's a very, very interesting PDF. So uh, have a look at the show notes and get the PDF. So I recommend you that you do it right now. If you cannot do it, then do it later. It's okay, I'm going to list them. But if you have the PDF in front of you, that's going to be a lot better and easier for you to follow. So the subjects without any specific order, okay? No, no, I, I couldn't provide yet any order. So that's my order, but I don't know if it is the best order. I still don't, don't know. So first topic will be understanding what is the ROS core. Then the next one, that would be what are ROS nodes. Then the next one will be about the ROS CLI. That's the command line interface. All those commands that we need to 
issue in order to to test the system and discover information. So the next topic, the number four, is ROS and enver environmental variables. So how all those variables they affect the execution of ROS programs. Then number five is ROS packages. On the next, that will be uh, Katkin. So understanding how Katkin and the compilation of the packages work. And then uh, next one, number seven, is ROS topics. Then we move to ROS messages. Next one is ROS parameter server. How does it work, the parameter server? Then next one is the ROS debugging tools, several of them, to graphical tools that ROS provides and allow us to debug errors in an easier way. Then we have ROS services, of course, and ROS actions. And then I have included three more topics is ROS URDF. So you need to understand how the URDF, the Universal Robot uh, Definition Format works. And also very, very important, ROS TF. ROS TF, how the, the TF works in ROS. And finally, the final one for me is the less important of all of them is ROS installation. But I have included here because many people is worried about this, how I'm going to install and then it doesn't work. That's very easy. That's, you don't have to worry about that. But I have included there because I wanted to include it in the basic knowledge map because it's something that at some point in time you have to learn, okay? Okay, so then uh, that's it. So what I recommend you to do is to go, as I mentioned, and go and grab this ROS a knowledge map that I have created. This is a knowledge map for Python. Okay, so if you are, uh, for example, I have uh, here the category of ROS topics, and then it has the subcategories of publisher and subscriber. So if I press into the publisher, I'm going to be led into the ROS wiki page that describes how to create a publisher in Python. This is in Python, okay? Another one in C++ will be done soon. Some things can be the same thing. For example, the raw CLI doesn't matter if it's if you are talking about Python or or C++ or the the concept of uh, the raw score, for example, or the also the other ones that about, uh, for example, let me check here, uh, the environmental variables, for example, that doesn't matter. There is a, a one, there is an extra one in Python, that, which is a Python path, but it's, it's okay. And uh, then, so yeah, so that's it. So go to the uh, PDF and check it, and let me know what you think, if it is useful or not. This is a different, it, it can be considered as a cheat sheet, but it's a different cheat sheet like you are used to. Because uh, we are used, if you have started to learn ROS already, you probably have seen those many ROS cheat sheets that are uh, spreading around. And basically they are concentrated only on one of the subjects of the knowledge map, is in the ROS CLI. They are just saying you basically the ROS CLI and some of them they also include the environmental variables. But there is no cheat sheet for about what's the code for creating a server of a service or a client to a service. So that's not included. So in this case, you will be taken to the proper uh, section in the ROS wiki. Okay, so that's what I wanted to share with you today and um, just remember that in, in case that you would like to learn faster ROS and with uh, practice in mind, remember that we have an online course where we teach you all those elements of ROS or the ones that you have in, in the cheat sheet in this in ROS, not cheat sheet, let me call knowledge map, okay? So it's a knowledge map. So then we teach you all those and with practice, with online simulations. And that is called the ROS Basics in 5 Days course. And it's inside our online academy. You can have a link. If you are interested, you have a link in, in the show notes also. And that's all. That's all for today. So thank you very much for your attention. And see you on the next week with a new episode of the ROS Developers Podcast with more lessons from the experts. So until then...
He push in your Ross learning. The Ross Developers Podcast. The Ross